Hello students, today we are going to discuss the first numerical of analysis of truss by the method of joint. Okay. Now the question is written as find the forces in each member of the truss. A truss is shown here whose support A is hinge, support B is roller and a 10 kN force is acting in downward direction at joint C. Now the vertical member is of 2.5 meter length and the horizontal member that is AD and DB will be of 2.5 meter length each. Okay. Now we need to find the forces in each member of the truss. Now for the determination of or for the calculation of forces in each member of the truss, first of all we need to find the support reaction that is VA, HA and VB. Now for the determination of support reaction, we have to apply the equation of equilibrium and by taking moment about A because this is a hinge support. So if we will take moment about A, then it will be equal to 0. So we had just take the moment about A and it will be equal to 10 into 2.5 due to this force. Okay, due to this force, it will be like this 10 into 2.5 acting in clockwise direction. So we will take this value as positive 10 into 2.5 and the next value will be VB into 5 which will be acting in the anti-clockwise direction like this. So we will take this value with negative sign. Okay. Now by solving this we will get the value of VB equals to 5 kN. Now by just taking the another equilibrium condition that is summation of vertical forces equals to 0 we will write VA plus VB because both are acting in the upward direction minus 10 because 10 is acting in the downward direction. So it will be equals to VA plus VB minus 10 is equals to 0. Now by putting the value of VB here that is 5 we will get the value of VA equals to 5 kN. Now we have to apply the third equilibrium condition that is summation of forces in horizontal direction equals to 0. Now there will be no force acting in the horizontal direction except support reaction HA. So HA will be equals to 0 kN. Now in this way we have determined all the external reactions that is VA equals to 5 kN, VB equals to 5 kN and HA equals to 0 kN. Now we need to determine the forces in each member of the truss. Okay. Now for finding the forces in each member of the truss we need to consider each and every joint separately for which first of all we had taken the joint A. Now at joint A there will be a 5 kN force acting in the upward direction because of VA and two members are also connecting at joint A that is AC and AD. Now we had made AD direction in this way that is away from the joint and AC direction is towards the joint. How can we make this direction? Suppose that at joint A there will be a 5 kN force acting in the upward direction. So this 5 kN load will tries to take the joint A to the upward direction. Now for the equilibrium condition of joint A or for keeping the joint A stable, we need to create a force in the downward direction. For creating a force in the downward direction, this, this inclined member will give a downward component like this that is FAC sin 45. So we have to make the direction of force in the downward direction to balance this upward 5 kN force. Okay. Now, due to this inclined force, that is FAC, this inclined force tries to move the joint A towards left of the truss. Okay. Now, to keep the joint A in the equilibrium condition, we need to create a right hand side force so that this left hand side force will be balanced. Now, this, bal this left hand side force will be balanced by a force which will be present in the form of FAD and we need to make the direction in the rightward direction to balance this leftward force. Okay. Now we had considered the direction in each and every member of the truss. Now we will take the equilibrium condition. First equilibrium condition will be equals to summation of forces in vertical direction equals to zero. Now there will be only two forces acting in the vertical direction that is 5 in the upward and F AC sin 45 in the downward direction. So we had written the equation that is 5 minus F AC sin 45 minus sign is because of the opposite nature of F AC sin 45. So F AC value will be equals to 5 root 2 kilonewton and 
we had just written compression here because the force is moving towards the joint that's why we had write the nature of fac as compression here now again applying the next equilibrium condition that is summation of forces in horizontal direction equals to zero now in horizontal direction there will be two forces acting that is fad and fac cos 45 now we just take the equation like this fad minus fac cos 45 is equals to zero why we have taken the sign of FAC negative because FAC is acting in the opposite direction of FAD. Now, by putting the value of FAC here, which we had determined in the earlier case, so FAD will be equals to 5 kN tension. Now, why we had written tension here? Because the force in the member AD will be away from the joint. Now, if the force is moving away from the joint, then we have to write the tension force in that member. Okay. Now in this way, we will consider the equilibrium of joint B. Now by considering the equilibrium of joint B, we will determine the force in BC which will be equal to 5 root 2 kN as compression and force in member BD which will be equal to 5 kN in tension. Okay. Now one last member force will be remaining that is member CD force. Now if two equal and opposite forces will be acting in this horizontal direction, then there will be any vertical force acting on that truss? No, because there will be only horizontal forces which will balance each other. So if there will be no no vertical forces acting at this joint D, then what will be the value of FCD? It will be equals to zero. So if we consider the vertical equilibrium at joint D, then only FCD will be there. So FCD will be equals to zero kilonewton. Now two conclusions is drawn from this question that if, if an upward force is acting at a particular joint and if the angle between inclined member and the horizontal member is of 45 degree then the force in the inclined member will be compression and its magnitude will be equals to f root 2 and the force in the horizontal member will be of tensile nature and is away from the joint and its magnitude will be equals to f if the applied force is f in the upward direction okay that is the first conclusion now the second conclusion is that if three members are meeting at a point and two of them are collinear if three members are meeting at a point and if two of them are collinear that is f and f then the force in the third member will be equals to always zero so we had taken this case here also two forces that is five kilometer are collinear then the force in the third member will be equals to zero that is the two conclusion which we had drawn from this question now we had made a complete force diagram on your screen okay in the member ad there will be a tensile force of 5 kN and in member bd there will also be a tensile force of 5 kN now in member bc and member ac there will be a force of 5 root 2 kN which will be in compression okay and the force in member cd will be equals to zero now that is all about this question we had determined the forces in each member of the truss thank you very much students